Hello and welcome back to our True Kids devotional podcast. Today we're reading Genesis chapter 21. It's all about the birth of Isaac and teaches us an important lesson about patience and trusting in God's timing. Have you ever wanted something really, really badly that seemed like it would never happen? Maybe you're waiting for your birthday to come around, or for a tiny seed you planted to go into a bigger plant, or for a new game to be out. Waiting can be so hard, right? Well, our passage this week is about Abraham and Sarah, who had to wait a very, very long time for something God promised them. God told them they would have a son, even though they were both very old. Can you imagine waiting for something your whole life? Abraham and Sarah waited for years and years, but here's where it gets exciting. God keeps his promises, no matter how impossible they seem. After a long wait, Sarah gave birth to a son, and they named him Isaac. This chapter shows us that even when things don't happen right away, we can trust God. He has not forgotten about us, and he will do what he promises, just like he did for Abraham and Sarah. Sometimes we want things to happen right now, but God knows the best time for everything. Just like when you're baking yummy cupcakes. If you take them out too early, they won't be ready. They would taste yucky and could make you sick. But if you wait for the right amount of time, they come out perfect. God's timing is perfect. Just like those perfectly baked cakes, he knows when we're ready for what he has planned for us. So even when it's really hard, let's try to be patient and trust in God. God is not a man that he should lie. He doesn't change his mind. He is faithful all the time. God keeps His promises, His promises, it's true. God keeps His promises, what He says He will do. God keeps His promises, His promises, it's true. God keeps His promises, what He says He will do. Let's pray to finish. Dear God, thank you for the story of Isaac's birth and for teaching us to be patient and to trust in your timing. Help us to remember that you always keep your promises and you know what's best for us. Help us to wait patiently for the plans you have for our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. That's all for this devotional. I look forward to joining you again for the next one.